What's up guys, it's me Jeremy and I have quite an interesting concept for you today. I call this the low HP lane and it's a very fun and I believe a very good way to play a lane in solo queue. So what is this concept of the low HP lane? Well, it's a lane where you try to keep your opponent's HP as low as possible at all times. This is done by trading constantly, over and over again, even if you lose those trades. It almost always ends up with both you and your opponent's HP being around 25-50% to 50 or so, and at that point you have successfully set up and started the low HP lane. During this trading you will likely go even in almost all of them, simply because they're being forced so hard. Now when I say constantly, that means as much as possible. You shouldn't trade in a situation where it's a guaranteed loss. You want to trade in every single decent opportunity, as long as you have a slight chance of winning. Once you can get your opponents to very low HP and successfully set up the low HP lane, you want to stop trading entirely. This is the tactic that makes the low HP lane work. This strategy focuses on getting your opponents to a point where just one little tiny mistake ends in a kill for you. And if you have constant aggression, and then you just stop that aggression entirely, it can easily throw off your opponents. At this point, you just wait for your opponents to make a mistake, and then capitalize on it. This mistake often comes in the form of them going in for bad trade because they are still playing the constant aggression playstyle that they needed to go even in those trades. But since you have stopped that playstyle in order to make less mistakes, they are more likely to make a mistake before you. Baiting is an extremely solid tactic in this type of lane, as even just a small bait can secure a kill, because in this situation, everything is much higher risk, but also a much higher reward. The side that makes a mistake first almost always results in deaths for them. I'll go over the strengths and weaknesses of this type of lane, as you don't always want to set it up. Starting with the strengths. The first is that it's very easy to get kills, especially in solo queue, as players make a lot more mistakes. And this is also a great way to play a lane if you're good at baiting. It can also be fairly easy to gain huge advantages with this tactic, as if you are winning the trades, you can simply just go off of your health advantage, and even if you go even in the trades, you can then use this strategy to win. The strategy is also very good at low elo, because players at that point don't have enough understanding of the game to be able to switch up their playstyle at the correct moment or to deal with the constant early aggression. The last strength is that being put into a situation like this can often cause someone to panic or get really nervous. And since you understand the mechanics of the situation, your nerves should theoretically be affecting you much less. Now let's move on to the weaknesses. First is that this type of lane gets destroyed by a good jungler, or even just ganks from other lanes. This could also be a pro as well, but you cannot rely on your jungler or other teammates to win your lane in solo queue, but you have to expect the opponent's jungler and roamers, or you will get destroyed by them. This con is why the strategy does not work very well in competitive team play, because laners are much more communicative with their junglers, and they are much more likely to show up. Next is that this type of lane can be somewhat risky, as if you are the first to make a mistake, you will likely end up dead with a huge advantage to your opponents, so it's very important to understand your matchup and to know your limits. The last con I came up with is that if you are in the bot lane, this strategy is usually terrible if you're playing with a partner that you are not duo queued with, as most of the time they will be the one to make the first mistake that results in a death. For the matchups in a low HP lane, I can't talk about every single matchup in the game of course, but I can give the mechanics that have an advantage in this type of situation. Starting with the ones that are strong. The first is any type of sustain, especially shields, are strong in the low HP lane, as they are solid for baiting, and if you're against a no sustain lane, you can even just heal yourself up while your opponents stay at low HP. Next is mobility. Mobility will allow you to dodge skills and capitalize on a situation by jumping in if necessary. High burst is also amazing in this style of lane, as it makes it easy to just flash in an instant burst an opponent that gets out of position for just a millisecond. Lastly is that hard CC performs very well in this situation, as since it's all about capitalizing on an opponent's mistake, if you can hit your CC, it can lead to an easy kill. There are also mechanics that are not strong in this situation. The first is sustained damage. Since you are at very low HP already, burst damage is much much stronger than sustained damage. Next is skill shots. Skill shots are usually fairly weak in this situation, as missing a skill shot can lead to your opponents capitalizing on your cooldowns 
by forcing an engage. When thinking about whether or not you want to play the low HP lane, you need to ask yourself if you have a mechanics advantage and how skilled you think you are compared to your opponents. Feeling out your opponent's ability to trade first is a good idea before making that assumption, but the mechanic side of it is much more obvious. I'd say the side with more pros will have the advantage in this low HP lane, not the side with less cons, as the pros are much more beneficial than the cons are detrimental. To simplify and summarize, the low HP lane is all about getting your opponents as low as possible with constant aggression, and then immediately stop if you are low as well, and then just wait for or bait your opponents into making a mistake, and then kill them. After that, snowball off of your kill advantage and carry your team to victory. Also, it's important to note that this strategy is only really good in solo queue. So that's it for my discussion slash analysis slash guide on the low HP lane. I'd love it if you could support me with a like or some feedback in the comments. And if you have any questions, I'd love to answer those in the comments too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.